Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. We are continuing with our theme for the month of January, Conquering Our Thought Life in 2024. Today we are looking at some scriptures that will help us in conquering our thought life. Praise God. We must take every thought captive in by emerging ourselves in the truth in God's word. Once again, I'll say that again. One of the things that we must do is take every thought captive by emerging ourselves in the truth that is found in God's word. So let's look at Philippians 4 and verse number 8. Philippians 4 and verse number 8 reads, Now, brothers and sisters, let me tell you this one final thing. Fix your thoughts on whatever is true, whatever is honorable, and whatever is just, and whatever is pure, and whatever is lovely, and whatever is commendable. If there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Praise God. Think about these things. What we put into our mind determines what comes out in our words and actions. Paul, Paul tells us to program our mind with thoughts that are true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and worthy of praise. Do you have problems with impure thoughts? and daydreams, examine what you are putting into your mind through television, internet, books, conversations, movies, and magazines. Replace harmful input with wholesome material. Above all, read God's word and pray. Ask God to help you to focus your mind on what is good and pure. It takes practice, but guess what? It can be done. It does take practice. The second scripture we are looking at is 2 Corinthians 10, verse number 5. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. What is that again? We take every thought captive to obey Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. So as we look at this, we read that Paul uses military terminology to describe this warfare against sin and Satan. God must be the commander in chief. Even our thoughts must be submitted to his control as we live for him. Spirit empowered believers must capture every thought and yield it to Christ. When exposed to ideas or opportunities that might lead to wrong desires, you have a choice. You can recognize the danger and turn away, or you can allow unhealthy thoughts to take you captive. You capture your fantasies and desires when you honestly admit them to the Lord and ask him to redirect your thinking. Ask God to give you the spirit of discernment to keep your thoughts focused on his truth. Praise God. Another scripture we're going to look at, which will be the last one, which we read, I think, yesterday, was Romans 12.2. Romans 12.2. It reads, do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Praise God. Paul is warning Christians, do not copy the behavior and customs of this world that are usually selfish and often corrupting. Wise Christians decide that much worldly behavior is off limits for them. 
Our refusal to conform to this world's values, however, must go even deeper than just behavior and customs. It must be firmly planted in our mind. Let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. It is possible to avoid most worldly customs and still be proud, covetous, selfish, stubborn, and arrogant. It is only when the Holy Spirit renews and re-educates and redirects our mind are we truly transformed. Praise God. So let us remember to learn how to conquer our thought life. Look up these scriptures on your own and allow God to minister to you. May you be blessed today and have a wonderful day. God is with us. And may we remember that what we are looking at, what we are listening to, and what we are saying out of our mouths. May God bless us and strengthen us and encourage us. And may we be the children that God has called us to be, children of the Most High God. Tomorrow we'll look at some more scriptures on how to conquer our thought life. God bless you and have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.